This is one of the most intense hives of industrial activity I've ever seen. I'm in South Korea at the Samsung Heavy Industries shipbuilding plant. About 25,000 people work here, churning out all manner of vessels for the oil and gas industry. But one stands out, painted red, called Prelude. It will be the largest floating platform ever built. Let's take a closer look. To come on board, you need to wear the full range of safety equipment, but what we're seeing is really striking. Everything about this industry has always been on a vast scale, but the size of this project takes things to a new extreme. This vessel is nearly half a kilometre long, the largest ever built anywhere in the world, and its job is to open up a new source of gas. I'm now roughly in the middle of this enormous vessel and it is so big it's very hard to get your bearings. We've got a satellite picture of the shipyard and you can see the prelude stretched along the quayside, the largest vessel ever built. This project is all about gas. The vessel will be parked in the waters of Australia and gather gas from beneath the seabed. But rather than piping it ashore to be processed, which is what would normally happen, all of the work is going to happen here at sea. This maze of pipes and many others to be added shortly will purify the gas, chill it, turning it into liquid ready for export. A process that will be stretched over nearly half a kilometre. This is now a key stage in the construction, lined up on the shoreline, those giant yellow structures, they're the modules containing all the equipment for the gas processing and they're being shifted one by one onto the prelude. One's in the air right now, an extraordinary sight, bearing in mind that it weighs more than 5,000 tonnes. It's being carried by crane on a barge round to another quay where it'll be installed on the vessel. So we've seen how the module was ferried round to the prelude and what's happening now is that this extraordinary structure is being lowered into position inch by inch. Although it's steel, extremely strong, very large, the operation here is incredibly delicate. Everything has to be handled with extreme precision. This is the third, they've got 11 more of these modules to go. Sailing alongside this massive structure is quite an experience and it comes at a very interesting time because although the gas that will be produced is cleaner than oil or coal, burning it does still give off carbon dioxide and the UN Climate Panel says the world should be moving away from fossil fuels. But demand for gas is just rocketing and this structure will come on stream in a few years time.